From lifeguard to lifesaver, tonight a Payson City teenager is being honored for saving a young man's life. He and his co-workers pulled the lifeless victim from the Payson City pool who was experiencing a medical emergency. Fox 13's Brian Schnee has the story you will only see here. Lifeguard, it's in the name. You just wash the water, guard them. If someone gets in trouble, you help them. The big role of a lifeguard is to watch over and protect. So uh, I was sitting in this spot, I blew my two long whistles. A few weeks ago, 15-year-old Mason Walton was scanning the waters at Payson City Pool. Right when I saw him, it felt like it was like almost in slow motion. I'm like, oh gosh, this is happening. He looked down to see a teenager floating up right against the side of the wall. I grabbed him and I just lifted him out onto the side. And then I like, you know, checked for a pulse. He had a pulse, but he just wasn't breathing. Mason immediately performed rescue breaths as fellow lifeguards and an off-duty registered nurse came over to help. All of this happening in a matter of minutes. The young man began to have a seizure. Yeah, it was pretty crazy. And like, I don't know, it's like you can train all you want for it, but like when, you, like when it happens, it's a whole different thing. Mason and his colleagues jumped into action so quickly. It's something he didn't expect he'd have to do just a few weeks on the job. It's amazing as a uh, lifeguard instructor and uh, being able to certify our lifeguards, um, seeing someone that I only trained less than eight weeks ago actually use those skills. It's an incredible, it's an incredibly proud moment for me. His first summer as a lifeguard, Mason and his coworkers saved this man's life. The breathing wouldn't have returned. The recovery wouldn't have been there. And um, I don't think they would have made it. Wednesday night, the Payson City Council honored Mason and his fellow lifeguards for their life-saving actions. Life hangs in the balance. If you like, like that's why we have all these drills and practices. And I'm thankful that we had like good training because like it's a life-saving event. Like if you mess up, like bad things happen. So you have to be ready. That training put into action. Get out of the water now. Which ended up saving a life. In Pace and Brian Schnee, Fox 13 News, Utah. Wow, congratulations, Mason. You know, according to the Red Cross, drowning is the leading cause of death for children. To stay safe, make sure your entire family has an understanding of staying afloat, catching their breath, swimming a distance, also getting out of the water safely. Use flotation devices like life jackets and keep a close eye on children. Lastly, know what you should do in a water emergency.